guys, what is up? It's Callum here today. I'm on Freddy and Friends Roblox FNAF thing. And today we are getting the new badge, the Discovery Badge. This is a new badge that has just been added to the game a few days ago. So I thought we'd get it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now we're going to be getting straight into this to do that. That's how you do it. <laughs> so what actually happened here, I'll, I'll show you from the start. But what I did is I hit the recording button on OBS and then I kind of hit it twice so it was start recording and then stop recording so I recorded me doing the badge and talking without actually recording so I wasted 10 minutes of my own breath mastering this part I mean I say master I did it in one go I mean, you guys can't prove that I didn't do it in one go, but I basically did it in one go. Um, there is a new section to Freddy and Friends, which is this lovely daring little parkour here, which is just off the side. It's um, relatively easy to do. I I've already done it. I've only... Uh, wow, that was the first time I dived in that. No, so you do that parkour, and then at the end of it, there's a ni you get a nice little badge. You get the Discovery Badge, which is the new badge that has just been added to the game. Now, obviously... I've already, I, I, when I started the recording, you could literally see I already got the badge because it, it said it in, in the little corner that the badge was collected. I was a bit, I, I mean, yeah, technically, I'm only trying to do it again just to prove you, to you guys that this is the way to do it. Now, it, the parkour itself isn't too difficult. And then on this bit, I thought you had to jump onto these, but no, you just touch these great things and boom. You get the badge and it's like a little golden Freddy mouth thing that leads to Fredbear and Friends. It's like Freddy and Friends, but it's Fredbear and Friends. It's a Fredbear and Friends badge. It's a Fredbear and Friends badge. It's like Freddy and Friends, but it, it's Fredbear and Friends. I wonder if I can do this parkour backwards. I bet I'm just that much of a pro. No, okay, I can't. But yeah, that is how you get that badge. It's a, re it's a relatively easy badge to get. It's not too difficult, which means we can now go ahead and collect... Our, uh, our our new discovery badge, which obviously in this one you get this dude, you get Spring Bonnet. Wow, wow, he's actually quite cool. He's actually quite cool. Step on this going platform to be teleported. Step on this going platform to be. No, I don't want to be teleported. Maybe Dreadbear. Oh yeah, you get this dude now. The, the, that dude. But I think I did a video. Anyway, so yeah, this is the, this is this guy, uh, Spring Bonnie. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Spring. Bonnie. It could also be Golden Bonnie. It could be. Spring Bonnie and Golden Bonnie put together, but no, okay, so th this this is this guy. This badge was originally easier to get, but then they made it harder just because, you know, why? Um, why are there just these TARDISes just sitting here doing nothing? Is this like just a random black box? Don't even know. But yeah, this is uh, the Spring Bonnie badge that you get as part of the Discovery badge after doing, after getting that badge. Now, you, like I said, guys, it relatively hard badge to get I mean not too hard it's not too challenging it just is the case of just doing a bunch of different parkour uh, that, that, that's basically that basically what it is it's just a case of doing parkour I wouldn't recommend trying to put on any characters to do it uh, while you're doing the parkour because you don't want to you know have like any special effects or anything it's probably just easier to do it vanilla easy peasy I have to say this is probably the, one of the shortest animatronics that I have seen I think he's really cool here do you want to help friend there you go. Have, I will help you out. Hey, no, you, you, you good? You good, mate? You, 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 you can do it. Just jump on my head. I realise I'm standing right underneath the invisible. Come on, mate. There, he did it. He did it. There, there is an invisible, vis, vis, an invisible, an invisible thing here which you use. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think this guy's pretty cool. He, he's a bit short and stubby, but apart from that, I like him. I think he's pretty. I think he's pretty neat. I think he's pretty neat. Um, so you can, one of the few animatronics that can actually hold a torch. The masks don't really, the masks never really work though, to be fair. Ah, uh, ah, oh, he's Baby Puppet. I like Baby Puppet. I think my favorite, I don't know. Like, I love Foxy. Freddy's kind of cute. I don't, you know, they're all right, but I don't know. I think there's just something about Puppet. You know, he's, he's, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. But yeah, guys, this badge was added recently, so definitely hop on and come and collect it now. Um, I haven't actually given this guy a go yet. I haven't given this Foxy a go, so I'm actually also going to go ahead and be testing out that animatronic today. Um, just because, you know, miss opportunity otherwise. But yeah, I think this guy's pretty cool. I think He hasn't got any special features. I like his little run. 
I like his hair on. He's a bit short and stubby, I have to say. I don't know, maybe if it's just the style of animatronics in this game, but this guy is in particular a bit short and a bit stubby. He is. I like his little run as well. He's got a nice little wobble run to him. He's got a nice little wobble run. It works well. Works well. Hello. Hello, green screen room. How are you doing? It's been it's been a hot minute. I like I love green screen rooms. They're so fun. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test out the other foxy now, so goodbye. Goodbye to spring. Oh my god, there's so many spring bullies just running around there. Every oh wait, never mind, that's not from Freddy. I feel a bit I feel I actually do feel a bit embarrassed now. I should have known that that was I should have known that oh Oh, okay, good. I'm Golden Freddy now. God, fine. You know what? Golden Freddy. Let's do it. Uh, um, what? What? How did this man become so tall? His parts aren't even connected. He's floating. How is he floating? How is he floating? I don't even know. I don't get how that just happened, but whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to question it. Okay. So, this dude, Foxy. Now, we've seen a lot of uh, Ignited Foxies kind of thing, you know, we've seen a few of them. Jacko Foxies, we've seen a lot of. But um, this guy in particular is particularly scary because he's got pointy spikes. You, he's also got more of a rib cage going under here. Like, a lot of them kind of don't have much of a rib cage, but this one is a very specific rib cage design. I love how I'm like reviewing a Halloween animatronic nearly a month after Halloween. It's 17 days after, 18 days after that. Seven. About 17, 18 days after Halloween. It was the, I'm recording this on the 17th and it was the 31st. Halloween, obviously. So, you know. But I think he's pretty cool. I love the way the fire kind of goes up through his stomach into his mouth. And then it kind of just follows him around after that. I think he's pretty cool. I love these because you can make like little shapes. They're like, they're like the sparklers you get on like the, the, uh, the 5th of November. The 5th of November. I was going to say the 4th of November. I was going to... Yeah, no. They're, they're kind of like... The little sparkles you get on the 5th of November. They kind of follow you around. and Sparkles, you know? I can't I can't think of the right word for them. Sparklers. I'm pretty sure they're called sparklers. I think Americans have them on the 4th of July. But... Or maybe the 5th of July. I don't know. I don't know which one it is. He's cool, though. He's cool. I don't know. I, like... Because uh, there's been a few of them. None of them have given them spikes. So the spikes is a nice new feature that we haven't seen yet. So I, I think I like the spikes. I think the spikes are pretty cool. I'm going to go... I want. It's harder to complete the parkour as an animatronic, I think, because they are bigger. So it's hard to kind of... Especially on these ones, you got to like get in between the little black lines. It's it's a fair amount more difficult. It is a fair amount more difficult. I wonder if I can do it, though. I'm gonna do it. By the way, guys, this is another badge. Just saying. They moved this one. There's a badge there now, so go, go on that and you get a badge. You get a badge. Okay, alright. I'm gonna this. Can I do this? I wonder if this guy's actually made it. No. I didn't even jump. I didn't even jump on that one. I just walked onto it. Okay, so it turns out it is not easier either way. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next episode. What is wrong with your face? You went to the VR, and we will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the way to end it. Bye!